Ladies and gents, I'm going to tell a story about the weather. Not the present weather, and you've got to aim in Emily Cusack. In every 50 years in this country, we could get a very bad storm, a very bad flood, and a very bad drought. They can do untold damage, and they have done that. But in August of 1917, we got a very bad flood in this country. One of the worst in living memory. It took everything that was movable before it. But as an area between O'Brien's Bridge and Killaloo in County Clare, it's known as Ballycorney. And the flood went over the roofs of the houses there. The chimneys could be only seen at a distance. That would have been about eight years before work commenced on the Shannon scheme, that is, the powerhouse in all culture, which is about 1925. But a man lived in a thatched, one room thatched cabin outside, not too far away from the town of Newport. He had a timber floor put in his thatched cabin about six months before the flood and it made it watertight. And on the evening of the flood, the flood lifted his thatched cabin and it went down the river. The occupant of that house had a dog with one ear. He was like a wounded soldier. And the other end of that house was shaven with a small shaven mirror and a cutthroat razor. At the best of times, it's not easy to shave with a cutthroat razor, but he was shaven as his house moved along the river. He was along, he came to a full stop at Kilnagana Bridge, and his attached cabin began to sit disintegrate. And there were four or five local men standing on the bridge, and they saw what was happening. They rescued the occupant of that house and he talked with the one ear. And when he was brought onto the roadway, he asked his rescuers, did they bring his cutthroat treasure? They didn't know what he was talking about, but he was along and he let them know. He said, that cutthroat treasure is of great sentimental value to me. My father fought in the Boer War and each survivor of the Boer War got a presentation of a cutthroat razor with a silver handle, pure silver. And now I need that cutthroat razor to finish shaving because I go to Newport every evening for a few pints. His rescue told him there'd be no Newport, all the flood roads around Newport are on the water. But they said you can come to our house and you can finish shaving with a Max Mile blade. Max Mile was very popular at that time and was popular for a lot longer of years after. We give you your supper, a glass of poutine, and a bed for the night and maybe more than one night. And we'll bring down the fiddle and we'll play a few tunes and we'll sing a few old time songs to pass the night away. That man was delighted. Now that man lost all his possessions. It was a huge tragedy for him. To lose his prized cutthroat razor that his father fought for in the Boer War. But he survived that tragedy. He survived that tragedy. Like the Irish race survived many tragedies down the centuries. To come to my mind, when all of us he came to Ireland in 1649. He came with the sole intention of annihilating the Irish race. He failed, and the Irish race survived. 200 years on, we had the great famine of 1845. Millions of our people died of starvation and immigration, and thousands died on the coffin ships. And the Irish race survived. And if we were to have one of those tragedies today, the ones I'm about to mention, God forbid, the Irish race would survive. And I have no doubt about that. Thank you very much for listening.